All right, so we have this right rectangular prism with dimensions 9, 12, and 3 for length, width, and height. It is scaled by a factor of 3. What would the new volume and surface area be? We're going to look at this two different ways. First is to actually stretch this out by a factor of 3, meaning the new side lengths, I'm just going to multiply each of these by 3, and that will tell me the value of the new side length. So the new one, this is a 36 centimeters by 27 centimeters by 9 centimeters and we'll draw that in now I have drawn this new shape which is very nice and fancy so if we wanted to find the volume of this new shape the volume is just length times width times a height for a rectangular prism so we got 36 times 27 times old niner and that gives us a volume of 8,748 centimeters cubed for the volume. But not only do we want the volume, we also want the surface area. So once again, if we identify all six of the faces, we have the top, the bottom, the left, the right, the front, and the back faces. And these should all equal some amount of centimeters squared because it is two-dimensional for surface area. So let's start with the top. We got this rectangle right account, which if I draw right down right account, this is now a looks like a 9 by 27 rectangle. And if I take 9 <laughs> times 27, that tells me that the top has a surface area of 243 centimeters squared. But since it's a rectangular prism, the bottom also will have the same number of centimeters squared. Next up, we got the left and the right. We can see the right side on my picture a little bit easier. So I'm looking at this surface right here, which if I draw like these, looks like I got a 9 by 36 rectangle, which when I multiply 9 by 36, I get 324 square centimeters. So I'll write that in for the left and the right side because they are the same. Now we got the front and the back, which gives us this rectangle right here, which when I draw, I got a 36 by 27. When we take 27 times that 36, uh, this is what we get, and that is a 972, 972, but the back is the same as the front. So now what I need to do is go in and add all these together. I find that the surface area is 3,078 in centimeters squared. That is my surface area. We already figured out the volume. But I'm going to show you guys the second way to do this. So, so we did already figure out the volume of the original in the last problem. That was 324 centimeters cubed. And the surface area, that was 342 centimeters squared. Now if we look really closely right here, we see that it is scaled by a factor of 3. So if we go on to this shape that we created, we can see that one of those cubes may fit, or I don't know, about like this right here. Okay, but let's take away some of those lines and just look at the surface area for now. So we scaled it by a factor of three, and just on this front face, we can see that for the fronts, nine of those surfaces fit on the front. We can count these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in other words, if it's like that for this face, it's going to be like that for all the faces. So if we just took the surface area of the previous smaller shape, which we found to be 342 centimeters squared, and we multiplied this by nine, we would have the new surface area. And that is 3,078, which we found previously, and we're good there. And that's in centimeters squared for the surface area.
Well, if we look closer at this object, too, for volume, we can see that it'd be three on this side as well. It'd be three here. And these go down. So if we counted how many blocks there were that fit into this rectangular prism, we would find 27 of them. There's nine on this layer, nine on that layer, nine on that layer for three dimensions. So in other words, there's 27 times what the original volume was. And the original volume is 324. So we're just going to multiply that by 27. 324 times 27. And that's what we get. What we originally found for the volume anyways. And, uh, what is that? 8,000, yeah, 748 cubic centimeters. Now that was just a second way to do it, by the way. If drawing the picture and finding all those values is more helpful for you, then do that. Okay.